Hi everybody and welcome to this beginner DaVinci Resolve tutorial. I'll show you how to make your first video in DaVinci Resolve, so if you're a beginner this is just for you. And if you're not a beginner, subscribe to us because we'll make more tutorials and more advanced ones and color grading fusion and a lot of other things in DaVinci Resolve and in filmmaking as well. I started by saying one thing about DaVinci Resolve and that is that it's free and it's professional. It's two things. But it's free, so you don't have to worry about buying anything, and it's professional, which it is true, because there are so many functions, but when you don't want to use them, you don't need to, so it's even for beginners. So let's get started. This is how your DaVinci Resolve is gonna look when you open it. It's nothing too complicated here, you just won't have here the projects, because those are my other projects. And right now there are two ways you can create a project, and that is either click in Untitled, double clicking, you'll be in a project right away. Or you can press here the new project and name it. With Untitled project you can name it afterwards, but it's easier to name it now because then you might forget and you know, and something might get wrong because you might not know actually what one project is. So we hit Create and you got your first project. This is me from the edit. I have messed up. You know, you see what's going on on the screen, nice and big. But when the project actually loads, just goes to black screen, which is a problem. So right now I'm gonna re-record everything in DaVinci and I will listen to what I'm talking about. So I'm sorry if anything does not match up. But enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, and this is how your project looks. It might look complicated with all of those buttons, but first thing will down here you have these buttons, you have the media, cut, edit, fusion, color, fairlight, and deliver. We'll just work with edit and deliver because the other ones you don't need them for start. So you will have your media pool already opened, which you can double click and import media, or you can do it the old way, you can just make it smaller, hold your folder that you have or the shots and just drop it in. All right, that's how you import it, either like I did it or press here and import media. That's just if you have bigger projects and want to stay organized, you can create a new bin and just throw some clips in, but we're not gonna do that for now. But you have to first, this is you have to do every time. Every time you want to edit, you have to check that you have the right project settings. And you do that by clicking here on the settings button, on the gear button, and here's gonna show you your settings. But all you need to know is your timeline resolution, which I shoot in 1080, so, this is all right, and you need to know your timeline frame rate. It has to be all right because when you shoot 24 FPS, you do 24. You just have to pick the right FPS here so it will work better. All right, so right now we have this checked. You know that you have the right project settings, you have your clips in media pool. You can right now select them and drop them into timeline. This is where your work will be done. You can see that I have a couple clips. It's just that we went outside, we went to play basketball, I just filmed a couple of shots. Just overall say what you see. Here we have the media pool, here we have your windows, where you see what is actually playing. You have timeline 1, the other window. You turn it off by clicking this small rectangle up here. You can click it and open it back up, you know, you just need one window. But right here you have your clips. And right now let's get to it. And this is how my first shot looks. It is bad because you know he just goes shooting and I stopped recording. I don't know why I totally messed it up. It could be useful. But let's say we want this part to this when it's almost in. So right now we're gonna hit this razor tool, cut it. And right now what to do with this other part? We don't need it, let's say. So we're gonna click on it. Right click and here delete selected. You get rid of it, here ripple delete. So that's our first cut. 
So we have a second shot here. It is a basket. One shot is almost in. So let's say we want it from here. The other way to do it is see this. You get this little icon. I don't know what it is. You get it in this middle when you move both of the cuts at the same time. And you get it also here when you move this. And when you do it from here, you can move this clip and shorten it up. Right and again, delete the space. And you got it. Now we're gonna delete it again. Delete. Ripple delete. These other shots. Okay. It's just to be fast. So I'm gonna both of them delete. Delete the space. So here we have actually an, an attack. Which we can start it off. Okay, nice shot. So we can like, we have a second one here actually. Yeah, and if you do anything you don't want to do, when you just jump. accidentally cut a clip, you press con Control Z, and it'll go back. Which you know it's useful to know how to fix something when you mess up. Sure, now again I don't want this part. Delete and I can delete the clip before as well and delete. We have a good sequence, you can move it up. You now you have this video free track, but let's put it back in place how I how I wanted it. And now now let's look at it. Here we have the solo, he gets around, he works from left, now he's on the right. Okay, what do we do now? They actually you won't use it that much, but right now let's get into this um inspector which will do by this icon this flips it like this and we can also flip it upside down but right now i just need him to go from left it's more here you can also zoom it which i'll use for this shot let's say here you can zoom it in a bit move it left and right reset this is a reset button okay if you don't know it is reset button and up and down so i will move it Let's say like this. Okay, I guess it's looking pretty good. But here, I might want this clip again here. So what I can do, I just can grab it, put it here again from the media pool. Because here it falls and he goes and catches it. So do here, do a cut. Right now we have a not as bad as I thought sequence. But you know, all of those videos, they start off by fading in and fading out so i just do a little fade in which you can see this small icon it's like a mark and when you move it you see the fade it's how you see how long the fade will be we can make it like this you know, that, that can work you know, just a short fade and here let's say we want to fade here around this cup you here as you have these icons you Right click and here you have 2, 4, 8, 16 frames cross dissolve, which is how long will it be dissolving? 8 frames dissolve. You play it, it smoothly dissolves behind the cuts. And also, it started with a fade, it ends with a fade, it's the same thing. You press this mark, pull it down, put it back, and made a fade. It's actually pretty good. So, right now, if you are happy with what you got, you don't want to zoom anything, you know, move this or a bit to the left or right. Right now we'll get to other page right? to edit but deliver. Which here is where you just export it. It's the whole thing. You have the file name. I don't know, I will name it. So there's a file name you have. Here set location, let's say I want it on desktop. So I set a location to desktop. I want video and audio. Here you can Nope, and right now it won't export any video, it will just be audio, which I want both. Here we have the format, QuickTime. No, that's just what you do when you have a clip, you want to export it and put it into DaVinci again, maybe on different device on, or something like that. That's when you use QuickTime. But when you need to just export it as a video, you press mp4 resolution if you want if you have a 4k footage or if you want to upscale the footage so i have a full hd i can still pick and render it at 4k so it'll just have bigger resolution 
quality best frame rate and right now you add to render queue add higher yes it's asking you because you're upscaling it but nothing renders because it just adds to the queue and right now you have to render it as well hit render it starts rendering and you have officially your first video in davinci resolve i hope you enjoyed the video the video <laughs> the edited did not turn out as bad as I thought, showed you everything I needed. So I hope you have a great day and goodbye.